May profits be upon you. Just want to give you a quick update on the U.S. dollar index. All right, the Dixie. Uh, listen, what I told you last week, uh, last weekend uh, on Sunday, came. You know, it, it it happened. All right, and I, I want to go over what it, you know how to see it. Okay, first, we see how price came down breaking uh breaking uh, uh 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 the lows of these candles right and forming bearish order blocks bearish fair value gaps comes back test that fair value gap forms another order block forming another bearish fair value gap right here and then down into this order block what order block are you what am i talking about this one right here folks it's a very large one all right comes all the way over and it's a bullish order block. It's a big old demand zone. All right, the price comes down into that demand zone, uh, hits the. If you can see it, hits this fair value gap. Does not close below that fair value gap. Let me get you to see that fair value gap a little better than this. Hello, hello. Boom. All right. And you can see it here. All right. Uh, this thing is driving me nuts here. All right. You can see the fair value gap here. Boom. Does not close below it. Respects it. Respects the order block. Mitigates. And then starts to travel to the uh, upwards. Now, what happens along that way is very important. Along the way, it's very important. This is where I come to what we were talking about. Remember this. That um, what we were talking about on Sunday remember this this is premium prices this is what this tool is and this is a, a discount all right you want to take your shorts from premium prices you want to take your longs from discount all right where's price now we've gone from premium pd arrays all right P premium uh, uh order blocks and and bearish bearish order blocks and bearish fair value gaps to discount P, uh, being P, PD arrays being formed, you see, there there's a bullish uh, fair value gap here forming, all right, and that is an indication that price is uh, shifting. In there's a market shift, all right, from bearish to bullish, all right. This is the signs that you want to look for: premium uh, of a uh, discount PD arrays forming order blocks and fair value gaps. Let's go to the daily, all right? This is where we get a lot of information. If I can get this, my little pointer out of there. All right, what 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 information can we glean that we haven't gone over already? On the four hour, remember that, that, uh, uh, that four hour order block? That's here, boom, it's right here, okay? In the middle of that, is this line all right that's a uh the consummate encroachment all right uh, or the equilibrium the 50 percent mark the fit the half of the uh of that pd array all right the halfway mark all right it's from actually up here it's from here but on uh, this, this this gives you the full range but this is the uh mark from for that pd array all right, for that uh, bearish order block. You'll notice that price respects has respected it thus far, all right? But what I want you to see is the uh, bearish fair value gap being disrespected on the way up. You see price respected it, pulled back, then we see some, really, or some real momentum coming into it, and then we see a close, a candle body close above that, a fair value gap as price is mitigating this uh this order block this bearish order block all right now we're at the midpoint and we'll see if price continues higher but what gives you an indication that price may continue higher the bullish for the bullish uh fair gap fair value gaps that i was talking about earlier we got one here price consolidates 
then dis distri distributes distributes up uh, uh, bullishly to just got buyers coming in and forming another bullish fair value gap here okay and i told you on sunday that this would be the line i said price is probably i had a, a down arrow here i had a down over here not a, not an upward pointed candle it was pointed down all right and i said price is probably going to take this low first all right the indications are that price is going to take this low and quite possibly touch into this area what this is forming is an area of fair value all right price coming back into a fair value gap and uh uh it comes back to retest that mark okay all right and you see the rejection and you see how price uh moved uh bullishly here in this week here in this week on the lower time frames is where the story is told all right we want to see is there any fair value gaps on the lower time frames forming in this candle that will give us an indication as to which way price is going to go aha aha i see it right here we have a bullish fair value gap on the four hour formed right there and we have a bullish for that fair value gap forming right here all right both of these all right now for me that is that is a pretty bullish sign the other sign is we've already swept the high all right we've broken structure with a bullish candle body break and close above that high well what a, what a, what is a trader to do i'm thinking I'm thinking that price has a good chance of either respecting this fair value gap or this one. This one is formed has formed a, uh, a bullish order block. All right, I'm because price has already formed this fair value gap here and this one down here. All right, as it's moving up in from discount to premium prices i'm thinking that there's a good chance price is going to go higher all right i always look at the uh the daily candles so i can get a a gauge on my bias i look at the daily for my bias i look at the one hour for my narrative and i look at the uh five minute for my entries all right and what do we have here we have a, a candle body break and close above the pre the previous daily high all right and that's pretty bullish for me this indicates price is likely to be have a bullish day tomorrow we're probably going to take this high all right so as price is pulling back I'm looking for price to find its way here maybe to this this low maybe to can I get it thank you why are you being so selfish all right maybe to this low maybe price uh comes down messes around and then pops up because I believe the hot, this is the draw on liquidity right now, right here. All right. This will, this is the most immediate draw on liquidity. And, and uh, I think for the week, we're quite possibly we'll see that as a draw on liquidity. All right. That, that, that's where it is. Now, should we see a bearish situation? What I want to see is price open high and close low. I would need to see this low being taken with a candle body break and close. All right. This will form a bearish order block. And that would get, would uh, indicate to me that price is going to go low. All right. Uh, that would give me a hint. All right. And I would look for a proper setup. If price does form the bearish engulfing candle uh, tomorrow, uh, then I would look for price to come back into it. And this would be my entry for a short. I don't want to take a long in premium prices. All right. I don't want to long into a bearish order block. All right. I'm just not that. That's only if a bearish situation starts to form. All right. Uh, the, what I'm going to be looking for is fair value gaps on the lower time frames but right now we have bullish order uh, fair value gaps forming on the four hour so my and this daily candle is indicating that tomorrow 
I'm probably going to see that high being taken, which is bringing us closer to the draw on liquidity. I hope you understand where I'm going with this. Hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. All right. I will see you in the next video. Trade safely, traders. All right. We're still waiting uh, for uh, news coming uh, for the Canadian dollar tomorrow. It got an interest rate. And uh, Thursday, euro, the euro has an interest rate decision to make. So uh, this uh, watch out for uh, shifting markets. Watch out for news time. Okay. All right. Uh, the news time is uh, where you want to you know, be careful if you're a day trader. You don't want to be in trades and have it go against you just because the news uh, gives a surge in price. All right. I will see you in the next video. May profits be upon you.